Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of the thriller suspense films from 2023, titled Dangerous Waters. Before we get to the storyline, I'd like to wish everyone a happy and great day. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. The movie begins with a teenage girl named Rose, who has bruises all over her face, and it seems that she has barely survived a life-threatening situation, and is still traumatized. The scene then shifts to a flashback from weeks before, where we see Rose's mother, Alma, arriving home after work. Moments later, Rose excitedly wishes her mother a happy birthday, which is tomorrow. Alma asks her to finish packing because they're going on a boat trip with the mother's boyfriend tomorrow. Rose reluctantly agrees, and leaves for her night shift work at a hotel. The next morning, she returns home from work, and her mother also comes out with her stuff. Rose is not excited about this trip, because she doesn't want to be a third wheel, but Alma insists that she come. On their way, Rose asks her mother about her boyfriend, and Alma says she hasn't known him long, but he's a good person. Rose is surprised at how she can trust him enough to embark on a 10-day sailing trip. Soon after, they arrive at the dock, and Alma is greeted by her boyfriend, Derek, and he shows her the path they will be sailing, which is near Bermuda. When Alma is picking up her belongings in the car, Rose sees a man approaching her mother. Later, she asks her mother what the man said, to which her mother responds that the man simply asks where she is going looking this good. Rose finally meets with Derek for the first time, and he tells them that he bought this second-hand yacht named Annalisa. Following a brief conversation, the three board the yacht, and begin their journey. After a while of sailing, Derek surprises Alma with a birthday cake adorned with a humorous tombstone, and they celebrate together. He gifts Alma a beach t-shirt, and also gives Rose a knife for self-defense. The teenager asks about his profession, and he admits that he used to be a cop, but now works as a private security consultant. He then teaches Rose how to tie a knot and asks her to help him sail the ship. Later, they go outside, where Derek teaches Rose how to operate the ship. Alma takes photos of them from Rose's phone, right when this happens. She is hit by the mainsail and falls into the water. Fortunately, Derek manages to save her, and when Rose goes to get first aid and a blanket, she is surprised to find an AR-15 rifle and some pistols hidden inside the boat's cabin. Nonetheless, she runs to offer her mother the blanket and first aid. Alma apologizes to her, saying she dropped her phone in the water, but Rose says it's fine. All of a sudden, the three notice that the weather is in bad condition, and enter the cabin. Alma says they haven't traveled that far, and suggests they return home, but Derek assures her that the weather will be fine tomorrow. Later, at midnight, Rose awakens due to some noises, making it difficult for her to fall asleep. The next morning, Rose wakes up to find out that the weather has cleared. She joins her mother, who is sitting quietly and drinking. Rose is not happy here and wants to go home, but Alma insists this place is beautiful. She then apologizes for not being a good mother and says that she can't give her more than this. Hearing this, Rose feels bad and assures her that she is the best mother ever. Derek then arrives to join them, and Rose questions him about the rifle, so he says it's for work, and asks if she has any problems with it. The teenager replies with a no, but expresses her desire to use it. Derek then takes out the rifle, and teaches her how to fire. Surprisingly, she shoots very well, and he's impressed by her skills, and says that she's a quick learner. He asks if she has done this before, but Rose nervously says that it's her first time, and Alma says this is because her husband was a soldier, who died in the war. The mother also mentions that Rose likes to fight. In the following scene, Rose notices on her laptop that there is a ship nearby, but brushes it off. Meanwhile, Alma and Derek are drinking and having fun, and they bring Rose to join for a drink, but she soon becomes dizzy, so she goes to her room to sleep. Sometime later, she wakes up, and hears some noise outside. She looks outside, and notices a ship coming toward them and hits the yacht. Two men from the other ship begin to threaten Derek, and ask him to return something, but he claims that he has no idea what they are talking about. Alma begs the people to leave them alone, but the captain hits and injures her. We notice that the captain is the same man from the previous scene, and Rose is left in utter shock, while Alma asks her to hide. 
When Derek keeps saying he has no idea, the captain decides to waste no time and brutally shoot the poor mother, and Derek in the hand, and he falls into the water. While hiding, Rose grabs a gun and prepares for the worst. The captain and his bald henchman enter the cabin, and eventually find what they were looking for. However, they don't notice Rose, and set fire to the ship before leaving. Moments later, she discovers that the yacht has been set ablaze. She then grabs a fire extinguisher, and quickly puts out the fire. Unfortunately, as she goes outside, she notices her mother's lifeless body, which devastates her. The next morning, Rose is alone and unsure what to do, especially given the state of the ship, which is burned horribly and broken down. The yacht's engine also fails, and Rose tries to fix it, but to no avail. She wraps her mother's dead body in clothes, so that when she returns home, she can properly bury her. She then decides to call for help, but discovers that the radio has also been damaged by the fire from yesterday. Just then, Rose suddenly hears some noises, and when she goes to check, She discovers Derek in the water, tied to a rope. He begs her for help, so she pulls him to the yacht, and treats his wounds. She gets mad at him for allowing her mother to die, and asks who those people were, but Derek claims he has no idea. She then asks him what she should do, and shows him the SOS transmitter she found, but Derek says it is useless. Since the yacht isn't going anywhere, he asks the girl to take a spare jib, tie it to a rope, and put it up the mast. Even though it's challenging, the girl manages to do it all. The following day, she takes care of Derek, while also mourning for her mother. Later, she snoops around the cabin, and discovers some photos of Derek with the killers from last night. Realizing that he lied to her, she quickly binds him with a rope, and steals his knife. But after she fixes the sail, she doesn't find Derek at his spot, so she tries to look for him inside the cabin. To her surprise, Derek emerges from the toilet, and tells Rose that she can't even tie a proper knot. She questions him about the thugs from last night, and Derek finally speaks up and claims that those people are monsters, and the less she knows about them, the better. Later, he also tries to fix the yacht engine but fails. Rose suggests that they should return, but he says the ship will be dragged away by the current. That night, Derek asks Rose to watch over the cockpit while he takes a rest. He advises her to keep moving northeast so that they will reach Bermuda soon. The next day, Derek notices that Rose is wearing her mother's necklace, and says he gifted it to Alma, but the teenager doesn't believe this, because her mother had the necklace for many years. Derek then claims that he had been trying to woo Alma since Rose was in middle school, and after many years, she finally gave him a chance. That following night, while Rose is in the cabin, Derek begins shouting angrily. He is upset because they're headed into the Atlantic instead, and they can't change the direction as the current is too strong. When his frustration boils over and he starts cursing, a scared Rose retreats to her room and locks the door, while holding a gun. As she wakes up the next morning, she is excited to see an island nearby, and without hesitation, she directs the yacht towards the island. As soon as they get close, they get on a lifeboat and sail toward the island. Moments later, Rose accidentally breaks her pole in the water, and when she tries to get it, she almost drowns. The cord! Ah! Pull the cord and flank the vest! <laughs> Luckily, Derek jumps in the water, and brings her to the land. He then administers CPR on her until she finally wakes up. Later, the two venture into the forest, and they discover that it is a deserted island. Since it is now too late, they decide to spend the night there and build a campfire. Here Derek tells Rose that she shot very well last time and praises her skills. Rose then asks Derek about his life, and he claims he was a good cop for 10 years. However, he received nothing for being a good person, and decided to work for the bad guys. He also had fun deceiving and stealing from the bad guys he worked with, and didn't feel bad about it. While talking, Derek slips up and tells her about his wife, Annalisa, who left him because he was a loser. Annalisa is also the name of his boat, but he had lied about not knowing who the boat's original owner was. He then tells her that the captain who killed Alma is the head of a sex trafficking network, and if he had found Rose on the boat, he would have kidnapped her. The teenager angrily says that she will kill the captain who murdered her mother, but Derek laughs, 
and says she doesn't even know how to tie a knot properly. He then places a rope over her hand, and teaches her how to tie the knot properly. While he doing so, Rose notices the SOS transmitter in his backpack, and it turns out the device is still working. Derek suddenly discloses that he did not give Alma the necklace, and hasn't known her for long. He just thought she was attractive and wanted to sleep with her. He also reveals how annoyed he was when he learned Rose was also coming on this trip, but he became happy when he learned that she was also attractive. Hearing this, Rose is shocked and infuriated. She asks him to activate the transmitter, but he refuses, claiming that he has to kill her since she knows too much about his business. He moves and attacks Rose, but luckily, Rose manages to gain the upper hand. The girl runs away from him, and hides in the forest. She wakes up the following morning, but only manages to arrive at the edge of the forest. Having no option, she slowly goes down and arrives at the beach, but Derek spots her and starts shooting. He injures her in the leg, but then, Derek slips off the cliff, and gets injured himself. Rose approaches him, and learns that he is badly hurt. Still, he tries to attack her with a knife. He asks her to take him to the boat, and promises to activate the transmitter in return. Of course, she refuses to believe him, and tries to activate the transmitter herself, but fails. Derek then claims that he had planned to offer her to the captain in exchange for sparing his own life. Hearing this, an enraged Rose runs away from there, leaving the man alone. She boards the safety boat, then gets on the yacht, and patches up her wound. That evening, Rose awakens to discover that the yacht is about to sink. Since she can't fix it, she gathers some supplies, and hops on the lifeboat. Throughout this process, she tries to place Alma's body in the lifeboat, but it falls in the water. This devastates the teenager, and she begins to cry helplessly inside the lifeboat. Now, she is alone and hungry, and has no idea how to survive. The next day, Rose spots a ship not far from her location, and tries to signal it with flares. Unfortunately, due to the sun, the ship misses her signal, and it seems like her slim chance is lost. But that night, she is fortunate to be rescued by a speedboat, and transported to the ship. It's probably the same ship from the morning. Upon her arrival, she is immediately treated with a delicious meal, but the crew looks at her with lustful eyes. Just then, a seemingly drugged woman shows up at the kitchen, and asks if she is new, but a man quickly takes her away from there. Seeing the familiar bald man who was also present on the fateful night of her mother's death, Rose realizes something and later asks the crew for permission to take a shower. After taking a shower, she puts on some nice clothes, and make up to look attractive. She realizes that she has now boarded the ship of the same captain who killed her mother. She then goes to the control room, and meets the captain. He doesn't let any girl enter the control room, but he makes an exception when he sees how pretty she looks, and she thanks him for saving her life. Rose sees this as the perfect opportunity, and begins to seduce the captain, while the captain orders his crew to leave the room. Rose then says that the ship is quite large, and asks if he can teach her how to sail. Excited, he starts showing her many switches, and explains their functions. Once the two are alone, Rose says that she's injured and requests some medicine. He immediately agrees to put medicine on her, and goes to find it. However, the girl takes advantage of the moment, and smacks him on the head with a wrench multiple times, and this kills the captain on the spot. Soon, one of the crew members notices a logo on the rifle brought by Rose, and claims that it is one of their guns. They begin looking for her, but she sneaks past them, and enters a room where she meets the previous drugged woman. Rose asks her if she knows where her gun is, and the woman reveals that there are many guns in the engine room, and even tells her the path. Before Rose leaves, the woman reveals that she's not the only girl on the ship, there are many other girls who've been drugged. With this information, Rose makes her way to the engine room, while hiding from the crew members. She eventually finds her gun, right when a crew finds her, but she manages to shoot him to death. The other crews also try to attack her, and she kills them one by one. Later, she comes across a woman from the ship's crew, and ends up in a fist fight with her. The crew puts up a good fight, but Rose still gains the upper hand, and chokes the woman to death. Rose then reaches a room where there are many imprisoned girls, but before she can set them free, the bald man approaches her and holds her at gunpoint. He is about to kill her, 
but the drugged girl from earlier arrives and hits him from behind, while Rose shoots him in the head. Following this, Rose tries to go to the radio room, so she can communicate with the outside world. At this point, things take an unexpected turn when she meets Derek again, who is still alive. She asks how he is here, and he explains that he used the SOS transmitter to contact the captain's ship. Rose is surprised that the captain spared his life, so he explains that he has worked things out with him. He now wants to take her to the captain to make him happy, but Rose laughs and says that she has already killed him. Hearing this, Derek hits her in rage, causing her to fall down the stairs and pass out. He then goes to grab a gun to shoot her, but when he returns, she is already gone. Following this, he begins looking for her throughout the ship, following the blood stains left by Rose. Here he eventually comes upon an area, where Rose releases a chemical on him. Taking advantage of the situation, she immediately rushes to stab him. And after a fierce struggle, she manages to stab him in the heart using the knife Derek gave her as a birthday present. After killing all the crews and the captain, Rose lies on the ground and breathes a sigh of relief. The girls from the ship come up to her, and inform her that they are approaching town and they can see lights in the distance. Back in the present, Rose is being questioned by a police officer, who commends her bravery. He informs her that all the freed girls have been reunited with their families and asks her to return home as well. With a sad expression on her face, Rose says that she has no home or family anymore, so the cop comforts her, saying that she does have a future and that she fought for it. Okay guys, that's all the recap of Dangerous Waters 2023. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.